Ah, uh, hello, welcome back to another King of the Hill reaction world season one, episode two. Square Peg. Okay. I don't know really what to predict for this. I mean, I haven't seen enough of this show to really give predictions or whatever, but I'm pretty sure the wife's name in the show is Peggy Hill. But, so I'm guessing it's about the wife. I can't even really remember anything about her, to be honest. I think she said, I think they said in the first episode that she's like a substitute math, um, not maths. Spanish teacher, so I don't know, maybe he's gonna show a bit of that. But yeah, honestly, I have no idea what to predict. Like, again, I haven't seen enough of the show. I really enjoyed last episode, though. Like, for most shows, when I watch the pilot, I'm a bit like, oh yeah, it was. It, it's introducing things, so I'm never really expecting the pilots to be like 10 out of 10. But honestly, I thought the pilot for it was pretty decent. But anyway, I don't really don't know what else to say. Let's just watch this. Substitute. Oh, okay, so it, maybe it's about the teaching. Since substitute teacher of the year. Peggy, I've got a situation here. Okay. Did he shit himself? Why oh, is he walking hi. like is that? Is it your back again? Oh, okay. <sighs> I guess that makes more sense. Great lifting belt I got you for Christmas. It's not a belt, it's a girdle. <laughs> well, take off your shirt, I'll get the icy hot. Fuck me, that tan line on him. It's so bad. It's such a difference. Hey. Peggy, not in front of the B-O-Y. <laughs> Why did you spell it? Like... Alrighty. Oh. What's it for, son? Contact football? No, you're not old enough for that. Ringworm test? <laughs> what? What? Sexual education? Oh, okay. Where'd you get- Oh my god, is he gonna be one of these people that are against it? Well, I thought we didn't have to worry about this until ninth grade health class. Not How old is he? Principal wants to teach us a unit from some course they made up in Washington, D.C. Okay. Washington? Bobby, go to your room. I don't understand people that are so against like learning. Obviously, like thing I'm gonna do, I tell you what. There, no need for Bobby to get all bothered up learning about sex when he can't do a damn thing about it anyway at his <laughs> age. How, how how old is he? In Australia, I don't think it's like this anymore. But I did it when when I was in year five. I think I was like eleven, ten or eleven, which which I, I guess is a little bit young. But I got my back out here, Peg. Bobby? What is this fucking body? Bobby, honey. Um, what do you know about sexual relations? I don't know. Nothing much. I'm a little worried about being a slut. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, Bobby, your father and I decided that as your parents, that you and I should have a little talk on the subject. Honestly... I mean, I guess that's not a bad idea. If you're not going to let the school teach them, at least tell them yourself. Physically, boys are... Well, they're different. Yes. They it's... have something that girls do not have. Yeah. You know... Some... Thing. You mean a penis? Yeah, I was going to say, is she even going to say the word? What is... Why did... Oh... I was gonna say, why does this she seem so shocked that he knows what a penis is? And Dale, I'd say the same applies to your Joseph. I'd tear that permission slip up if I were you. I'd do that and then some. This sex ed stuff goes higher than the schools. It's that same okay. old club of Rome zero population bull dink that the UN's been trying for years. Okay. Do you know what that's gonna do with fucking sex ed? No, that's all right. I guess I'll do it. Oh. My daddy told me the facts of life when I was Oh god, after seeing his fucking dad out, okay? for a second in the last episode, it's probably gonna be horrible. Are <laughs> <laughs> they just watching a fucking cow bull do it? Oh my god, he's crying. That's also how he taught me about paying taxes. <laughs> okay. Well, there used to be a dairy farm out here somewhere. Oh my god, don't do it that way. Just have a fucking conversation. You're coming to a time in your life when you're going to start to have tender feelings for a girl. You're going to need to know what those feelings mean and what to do about them. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why this is probably the... This is probably a terrible way of doing it. I'm sure they will do a good job at school. The health teacher is a trained professional. Uh, oh, I guess they're just switching bigger. it up. Hey, Hank, I wouldn't sweat it anymore about that sex ed stuff. What do you mean? <laughs> All you gotta know is I took care of it with oh. one little phone call. Okay. They found the substitute teacher of the year. Oh my god, uh, it's gonna be fucking her that has to do this, Jesus Christ. 1996. Hmm. I feel like that. 
I mean, obviously, I feel I feel everyone know, obviously knows what it is, like every adult. But I feel like they should still get a teacher that's at least somewhat qualified in this. Aunt Peggy. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Luann. I was not paying attention. Listen to this chapter title. The 14 stages of arousal. <laughs> and then you turn the page and... Oh, my goodness. Is that C. Everett Coop? That must be an old book. Because now there's 18 stages. Okay. How am I going to say these words out loud in front of a class? Let me see. Self-exploration is a perfectly natural exercise throughout pubescence. What's so hard about that? Luann, honey, tell me, what is it like to live without shame of any kind? Is it a good feeling? Yeah. I mean, yeah, honestly. Well, I guess I am a little jealous. Things were very different when I was a girl. Honey... You're at that special time of life. The time when a little girl becomes a woman. Why can I tell the, the way this is going to be terrible? The way she explains it. Look, here's a chapter on communicating your needs to your love partner. <sighs> what kind of filth are you reading? Oh my god. Re sex ed book. Say what? Let me take a look. Why is communicating like some big horrible thing? You sure you don't want him? Uh-huh. I'm not gonna need my toys anymore. After I learn sex ed, I'll be too busy dating. If you say so, that I will assure you though, that's definitely not gonna be the case. I think he's saying <laughs> he's the new sex teacher. Yes. Is he just gonna fucking try and call in something for every single fucking person that's teaching this class? I'm just saying a woman who knows is the toughest customer. Maybe you ought to hit the books, too. What okay. the hell is wrong with you all? What nothing, Hank. Just think. You'll be married to a woman who knows everything about sex. <laughs> I've never been with a woman like that. I don't know. I feel like it's not going to make that much of a difference. But, like, I, don't know, I guess educating yourself is not a bad thing. You know, there's a funny thing happening. Is he going to get hit school? by a fucking dumb baseball again? They want again. me to teach this sex ed stuff to our kids' class, you know? But... I just don't know if I can overcome the crippling sense of shame that I got from my mother. Whew. Well, we knew you wouldn't. Yeah, I've been telling people Peggy Hill is not one of those teachers oh my that God. puts all that intellectual hooey above common decency. <laughs> what? Are they so... It's just going to make her like actually want to there. Intellectual hooey is a good thing. Look, we all grew up not knowing the real words for your dinky and your woohoo, and we turned out fine. I learned about sex like, sure. from my mother. She gave me that wonderful book, The Loveliness of Woman. That book oh my wonderful. God. Well, I got a lot out of it. When my husband would crawl all over me at night and do his business, well, I would just close my eyes and think of them pretty flowers. What? Oh, Why? Woman, you poor, poor woman. Yes, this is depressing as shit. Go all the way, you perv. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> is he so just because the mom is... Teaching sex. I know where you live, and if you yeah, I think we do know who that is. Oh, it... Hank, uh, can I speak with Peggy? Uh, Peggy, it's for you. It's Dale. Yellow Dale. You don't know. <laughs> I think she definitely does know who that is. I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but I'll pass. Look, Hank Hill, I did not ask to teach this class, but I am a substitute teacher. That means I have to be. I do find it. I do find it very surprising that they got a substitute teacher to teach sex ed, though. Night, and teach anything from gym to home ec. I took an oath, darn it. Excuse me. And if I. Oh, I thought they said she was a Spanish substitute teacher, but I guess it was like anything. Pick and choose when you had those Randy Travis tickets. Oh no, those poor little kids never did get to make their clay ashtrays. Well, they're damn sure gonna know the 18 stages of arousal. I wanna know what these 18 steps are, cause I don't, like, is this a real thing I've never heard of? It? This is a diagram of a woman's v v v Oh my god, Hank, it's not, it's not that Come deep. On, I don't know why you're Peggy. getting so, like, weird and gross there, by it. <sighs> Fuck me. Is he just gonna cut every branch off this tree? Just out of pure fucking egg or uncomfortableness. Happiness. 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 Oh, I was, just, well, I was just wondering why I should say happiness. I did it. It's happiness. Ovaries. Over. Uvula. What? What is she? Uterus. Oh, Eureka. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why is he getting so uncomfortable with her just saying vagina? Well, Bobby ought to know about him. We don't want him growing up as repressed as we did. Sure we I do. Mean, I'm drawing the line here, Peggy. Why? My son is not going to learn this crazy crap. Well, he's going to have to eventually at one point. Come on, Bobby. You're coming to work with me. They okay. I, I feel like, you know, shielding your kid away from this shit is a fucking terrible idea. They're going to have to eventually learn. And if they don't learn, bad things can happen. Like getting pregnant or fucking STDs. Or just not doing it safe in general. Good morning, class. I'm honestly surprised that guy, like his kid in there, considering he was fucking Otherwise threatening death on the other teachers and tried to with her. Human relations. I am your substitute teacher. My name is Peggy Hill. Okie dokie. Any questions so far? Yeah, no. Because you haven't really taught anything. I just wanted to say you don't have to worry about me because I'm never going to have sex. Oh, oh Bobby, okay. now don't say that. I thought that's what you wanted. Well, yes, yeah. if you were my daughter, but you're my son. What? Oh, my God. Why is it not okay for girls, but yes. it's okay for boys? It's called the double standard, Bobby. Don't knock it. We got the long end of the stick sure. on that one. If you... I see. That's why mom's bad for talking about sex. Bobby, look, just because your mom's been using those words doesn't mean she's bad. She's just trying to do her job. Give the kids the proper names for things. And if you're acting like that's a terrible thing, though, and he's going to finally realize, like, yeah, okay, this is... You can call me Mrs. Hill. You can call me Peggy. Okay. Or Peggy Hill. Okay. Come on, Peggy Hill. You can do this. <clears throat> okay. Today's subject. Just have a seat. I'm sure your teacher can tell you everything you need to know. She was. I'm glad that he did come around though, and eventually was like, "Yeah, this is this he, like this is probably a terrible idea to sh keep him away from this." Please bring your permission slips up to my desk. And those of you whose parents did not give you permission to learn with me, well, you can read for an hour in the school library. Sorry, Peggy. Wait. Peggy. Sorry. It's what the fuck? None of the parents signed the permission slips. Luann? Was anybody home? Where is everybody? Uh, I sent the kids off to see a double feature. Oh, okay. May I have this dance? Oh, shit. Hmm. Smooth elbows, Peg. <laughs> I was to bring back the fucking smooth elbows. Who the hell is breaking? Hello. You have reached the Hill residence. Please leave a message at the tone. You don't know oh my god, am, this fucking guy. I know where you live, Are you kidding me? Teacher, and you better cut it out if you know what's good for you. Okay, mate. Good luck. Okay, that was another actually pretty good episode. Hey, Q was such an interesting character because some parts of this reminded me of American Dad, except I feel like the main difference between the, like Stan from American Dad and Hank Hill is that like Hank, you know, isn't uh, any way, like anywhere near as fucking shit he was as what Stan is sometimes in American Dad. Like, I do find it interesting though that they did bring up the fucking like whole double standard thing because like that is true like why is it that like women get shamed for like having sex with that but then men don't like that it's pretty fucked and then i feel like hank like once bobby was talking about it hank was like okay yeah this is pretty fucked because like peggy it took a lot out of her for her, you know feel comfortable and fucking teaching sex into a class which i mean if bobby didn't turn up like she would have not even been teaching it to anyone like that one of Pretty much the entirety of the class, none of their parents fucking signed, like, the permission slips, which is kind of fucked. Because I feel like you need to learn about that shit, like, especially when you're in, like, around the middle school age, because otherwise you're not going to understand shit, and you're going to have to pretty much figure out, out everything on your own. Like, you're definitely going to make some mistakes and, like, you know, get, like, pregnant or STD or something along those lines. I'm actually... Pleasantly surprised at how good this show is. It's two episodes in and I'm already, already really enjoying this. Like, it's really well written. The fact I can't get over the fact that the way that Hank learned was just watch his dad just showed him a fucking cows. 
pretty much doing it. And then, yeah, that's how it works. I mean, it's interesting, though, because I'm guessing Bobby's in middle school, because, I mean, it obviously showed middle school. But, like, when I did sex ed, it was in year five. And then I did it again in year six. So I would have been, like, 10 and 11 when I did it. And it's interesting, though, because I don't think they do it that young anymore. When I did sex ed, though, it wasn't really just about sex ed. It was more about, like, puberty and shit and, like, that as well. Overall, good episode. I enjoyed it. Like, again, I've enjoyed the show so far. So I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.